the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. So in today's videos, we're going to be talking about the lunar eclipse that took place on the 30th of November in Gemini. It is a very special lunar eclipse because it, it took place right next to one of the royal stars, which is Antares, known to be the star of military commander and battle, war, and all sorts of martial, strong art martial energy. So let's find out what it means and how it's going to be reflected. I mean, how it's been reflected in the world as well as our personal life. All right, so I have a bullet points right here. Okay, so first of all, Antares is very martial. So it's ruled by Mars. So we need to look at the position of Mars. And it took place in Gemini, so it's ruling planet Mercury is going to play a significant role as well as aspects to Mercury and the moon. Speaking of Gemini, Gemini is a mutable sign which is all about enhancement, improvement, and Gemini by nature is all about learning stuff, communication, exchange of any sort. So, so one way to make use of this cosmic alignment is to redevelop the common senses and actually apply to our daily life because Gemini is all about our daily routines, the daily interactions with people or some kind of habits. So as you can see, Mercury was in Scorpio 27th degree having an easy aspect sex style, which, is, which creates a lot of opportunities to outer trio. Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto in Capricorn. So Mercury sextiling Jupiter, this can indicate that we can find it easy to find the big meaning and purpose from a large amount of data set. And Mercury being in a Scorpio, indicates that we could have more intuitive hunches regarding certain information. A lot of us would be able to recognize certain truth without having tangible evidence. We can be very intuitive and uh, sensitive about anything that is mercurial. That can mean a lot of different things like data, communication styles, routines, and any subject, hobbies, learning new stuffs. And with Mercury and Saturn, this is a great time to put a lot of information into constructive structure, put things in order, and integrate information. It's gonna be different for everyone. You can finally get things in order and uh, make sense of something that you haven't understood before. And it's very possible that a lot of us uh, react emotionally. The very essence of every eclipse, especially the lunar eclipse, is very highly emotional. Can be pretty, uh, it can be like hyper emotional. Since Mercury is in Scorpio, uh, it is actually a great opportunity to investigate what's really going on in our psyche. Subconsciousness, subconscious patterns can be altered for better. By the way, since Antares is the star of battle for the next six months or so, a lot of huge battles are going to be resolved and we have been, we are almost reaching the climax and we can obviously see in the global scale, uh, politics, economic, like it's everywhere because everything is interconnected anyway. The best way to cope with whatever conflicts or battles you're facing 
right now either on a macroscopic or personal level use the Marshall approach so let's take a look at it so at the time of lunar eclipse Mars was in its 16th degree of Aries so it was super super strong in the sign of Aries and it was having an aspect only positive aspects with with south node north node sun and moon so starting with the sun in south node the sun was in sagittarius so if you've had some belief systems the higher principles or life motto this eclipse can help you really take action in alignment with those belief systems if there's any avenue uh, to express your visions in, in the public setting or through a career, your job, or any active movement, this is going to help you realize your visions in the more practical levels. And since Mars is in Aries, it is totally okay that if you don't have a full picture of how these visions are going to be played out eventually because Aries is the first zodiac sign this represents brainstorming taking initial actions so the more you're tuned with your gut feelings you'll find it easy to ride on this cosmic wave the sequence of action will create more momentum allowing you to move forward fairly quickly. A Mars trining south node in Sagittarius, this can indicate that the visions that are focused on the selfless, altruistic causes are going to have stronger impacts. By the way, Sagittarius rules the legal systems. So on a macro level, there will be a lot of some sort of loss or resolution regarding legal matters, foreign matters. On a collective level, we will choose to let go of certain huge belief systems that no longer serve our purpose. And that will be likely to affect the legal systems. Anything that is related to Sagittarius that includes politics, foreign matters, foreign affairs, traveling, and higher purpose, spirituality, belief systems, philosophy, etc. Okay, so yeah. And Mars sextiling Moon and North Node in Gemini. This means that there will be a lot of opportunities to learn new stuff, gather information have active communication with other people in our society and be more engaging as a member of community. So I'm just going to briefly address what you can expect on a personal level. So let's let's see. Um, okay, let's start with Aries. Aries rising. So if you're born when Aries was rising, then this lunar eclipse took place in your third house so you would have uh, some opportunities to learn relearn new stuffs you would be better off by choosing a different way of communicating with others communi learning new stuffs or relearning the subject you thought you knew because you found a new piece of information so there will be some adjustment re in regards to the matters of the third house this could be about your sibling, friends, colleagues. These people would have a lot of personal transformation in their own lives as well. So if you're Taurus rising, the lunar eclipse took place in the second house. So you would be experiencing some moments that allow you to see yourself differently and evaluate your self-worth in different ways. And the more you learn about new stuff or learn new skills, this is going to 
also affect your personal finance, self-worth, as well as self-esteem. If you're Gemini rising, whew, this is a huge, huge event because the lunar eclipse took place in your first house. So you would have some significant emotional transformation in your life path, your personality, the way you would, would like to frame yourself, define yourself will be readjusted. You would find a different way of building your self-sufficiency and independency. So basically it's all about strength, personal resilience. The first house is all about you and on the physical level you would be better off by uh, changing some your fashion styles as well as your personality, personal preference could be changed in some way shape or form if you're cancer rising the lunar eclipse took place in the 12th house so so uh, this impact would not be noticeable on an external level because this 12th house rules your subconsciousness you could have a sudden uh, epiphanic moment and that allows you to shift your subconsciousness your subconscious reactions and it's also possible that what you thought you lost in the past may return this could mean the second chance of something and if you want to look at what it exactly is you might want to look at the position of mercury in your own birth chart your internal conflicts inner battles would be leading to resolution within six months whatever shadow sides you've had we all which we all have will be more evident and appear in the surface level so you can recognize it if you have some negative attitudes or negative beliefs about some kind of like psychic or creative pursuit then this is going to be a really good opportunity to change your perspective. So look for new information, educate yourself. This is going to help you transform yourself. If you are Leo rising, this lunar eclipse took place in your 11th house. So this affects your social circles, your community, your friends, and your long-term visions possibly your income recognition so you would be better off by building or rebuilding your social networks or redesigning your long-term visions with new information you may have recently gathered if you're virgo rising then this lunar eclipse took place in your 10th house so 10th house is all about your career your pu public persona your reputation what you put out into the world so especially if you're in a leadership position or even if you're not uh, the way you project yourself in the public setting is going to be changed because of certain new information you've got regarding career and you'd be really better off by relying on your intuitive hunches when it comes to what you do and make sure that your purpose is related to serving others. Keep in mind that you don't have to execute all your plans in a short period of time because Mercury has aspects to Saturn. So whatever you're building right now is going to take some time, but it's gonna be lasting. And stable if you're Libra rising this lunar eclipse took place in your ninth house so ninth house is all about your belief systems your higher calling your philosophy this could be about your teacher figure and uh, anything related to foreign matters traveling so uh, you will be better off by applying some adjustment to your beliefs if you have a mission statement or a life motto 
this is a great time to reevaluate it and if uh, through self-reflection you can notice if the previous life motives or philosophy still serve you if not make some adjustment and instead of just taking in the lessons or advice that your teacher figures provide try to integrate it in your own way make it tweak it and and make it more practical and personable personable or relatable to you if you've had some internal conflicts regarding the belief systems within the six months you're gonna see the resolution and you'll be able to take your belief systems or philosophy to the next level all right so if you're scorpio rising then this lunar eclipse took place in the eighth house so if you're scorpio rising this lunar eclipse took place in your eighth house so this is all about your subconsciousness you would have experienced a lot of personal personal transformation sudden surprises inner awakening so if you guys are into spirituality this is a really great time to totally revamp yourself when you reprogram your subconsciousness your reality becomes totally shifted and at the time of eclipse mercury was in your sign so so this means that whatever information or contact person networks or skills or data they are just in front of you you don't even need to seek out for this information because it is in the first house so for the next six months you are going to finally let go of any uh, dark shadow sides as long as you put this new information or skills into constructive format for example you could adjust your habits anything that help you change the way you think about stuff you can think of it updating your software okay so yeah if you're sagittarius rising this lunar eclipse took place in your seventh house so seventh house is all about your relationship the way you interact with other people this is about your marriage partner or business partner or just the public seventh house shows other people so you'll be better off by changing the way you interact with others um, changing the relationship dynamics you have been committed to whether it's personal or business oriented on top of that try to empathize other people be kinder and and because the significant partner in your life would be ha going through a lot of a huge life-changing experience and remember your identity can be uh, determined not just by yourself but the people the kind of people that you're interacting with so so keep in mind that you always have a choice you have free will to choose who to partner with if your capricorn rising this lunar eclipse took place in your sixth house so so any sort of chronic challenge this could be about your work productivity or health diet whatever that is it's gonna be resolved within the six months and you will be better off by adjusting your routines your habits possibly your diet so pay more attention to your health regime diet workout regime so the more you learn about this areas gather information research and seek out some advice from people you interact with this will help you a lot so if your aquarius rising then this lunar eclipse took place in your fifth house so when it comes to your self-expression hobbies creative hobbies business projects uh, children if you have romance dating life you would find a, an alternative way 
of expressing yourself creatively, more authentically. So if you've had some struggles or creative blocks or dating blocks, this is a great opportunity to figure out what it is that has been preventing you from becoming who you truly are. Yeah, so you'll be better off by expressing yourself in a different way and new information will help you a lot. Okay, lastly, Pisces rising. This lunar eclipse took place in your fourth house, so your emotional foundation, your definition of happiness, your home life, family, as well as real estate and property would be experiencing a lot of changes at this moment and within the six months and all these things are leading to a resolution you'll be better off by finding an alternative way of defining who you are defining where you are actually coming from and if you've had some conflicts regarding your personal history whatever that happened in the past try to rewrite your history you know memory is always changing based on your perspective so nothing is set in stone your perspective can change the event that happened in the past your perspective changes your past thus create thus creating a new identity in the present moment so this is more of a psychological stuff and when it comes to your actual like family, tribe or home life, you'll be much better off by creating some sort of structures and predictable elements in your home and family. This could be about setting some uh, different roles with your family members. Active communication will help you a lot. Yeah, so this is about it. And feel free to share with me what is happening, what kind of big changes you are going through right now. This will be fun. We could learn from each other. So December is a huge month because we're having two eclipses. And around the 21st, around the Christmas this year, Jupiter and Saturn are joining each other. This is a huge event because it happens only 20, once in 20 years. I'm going to be talking about it in a separate video because I have a lot to say about it. So stay in tune and I hope this information is helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, what do you think about this hat? I made it.